especially online, it's like, actually lend me a good luck on that one. But at the same time, it is really cool tech that could be Three, applicable one day. Two, and even on live Here we go, match. So this matchup is, uh, this matchup is, hey, I'm going to repress you, because he's a sword and you don't. But if you hit him, as Rosa, he should die. Yeah, um, Ike, especially off stage, is going to have a very, very tough time against Rosa. Rosa just has the tools to absolutely mess up Ike once he goes off stage, especially just because of like the uh, the fair 50-50. Using Luma at a distance, like basically as your own sword, as your disjoint, it's it's so hard for Ike to get around that. And just say, Andrew's trying to do all the fancy tech right now. The attack cancels, at like the air dodge stuff, the throw through attack. Like he's, he's trying everything. He's been in the lab, dude. Yeah. Or at least he's been watching you in the lab. Bro, he, he get back to looks stage? like a webby type of Rosa. Because, like, there's a lot of Rosa stuff I don't even bother doing that's, like, too technical to execute, like, online. And he's Ooh. trying for it. But I say he also is kind of just fishing for a kill when he just hits some regular ass. That works. <laughs> the, uh, little, little drift out from Luma for the up smash there is going to secure the first kill for Pandrew. And we are going to see an even game. Luma's just going to be useless, you know. Not going to be able to get you out of that grab. Imagine if Luma could, like, still be active while you were in grab. That would be nuts. Like, oh my throw God. combos would be impossible on Rosa. Bro, that was Smash 4 when he first came out, actually. Yeah. Oh, that was good times. That was, that was like, the best part of Smash 4, honestly, when Rosa first came out. That was the most fun <laughs> part of the game. You ever. mean when Rosa was uh, busted? <laughs> Yeah, everyone had fun with that part of the game, because I was like, who wouldn't love Rosa being busted like that? It was so cool. Everyone who's ever played you in Bracket, probably. I, I don't know, man. Between, like, Free Patch Diddy and Sheep, Rosa was just up there looking kind of pretty, but not oppressive, you know? <laughs> That's true. Free Patch Diddy was a, a menace in and of itself. Dude, Smash 4 was such a weird meta, because that meta, like, anytime something got fixed to stop being quite as broken, something else was just, like, became the new unbeatable thing. Uh-huh. Nerf, um, uh, Sheik Diddy Tom? Oh, hey, look, Benmite's actually top 5 in the game, guys. It's super degenerate. Nerf, hey, look, hey, Bayo's guys, here. Fox footstool uh, forward air stuff is actually rebusted. Let's just spam it. Like, oh, no. Ding hey, Dong DK, too, was, uh, interesting. Uh, but... Looks like Pandrew's having a little bit of trouble getting past the disjoint and especially keeping Luma alive here. That's been the the big big story thus far is that uh, Candy Corn is doing a great job of killing Luma early and making sure that she doesn't serve too much of a factor in the game. Like right there, getting that dash attack in and Luma's going to go down. So as this fresh stock starts, Pandrew's going to be doing it without his partner. Yeah, I wish I see Pandrew use a lot more side Bs because like that move really nice, like deal and just when he gets hit soon, stop looking for forward smashes and then catches. Challenge Ike air to air. It sounds weird, but those attacks are kind of slow and it sucks. So Rosa can actually just get all in his face and just be like, hey, I got fast, massive aerials that will put you off the spot. You just gotta chase him there. Don't even have a chance to drift. Ooh, but barely drift. Speaking of drift, barely drifting out of that up B. Pandrew is going to live to see another day. Let's see if he can make that second chance count. Going to be sending Rosa out to try and get that's something that's started, that's that's but is just going to get caught rolling into that F tilt. Yeah. Not going to be able to make it. Yeah, gotta remember that, you know, Ike does not break kills off his uh, throws, and like your cope sense, Ike's gonna look for that, especially if you're running in, because you can't, you can't run at him on the ground that easily. Also, thank you so much, Sola Sunflower, for the tier one sub. Let's go two month hype. But yeah, you just gotta, you gotta respect Ike when he's strong more. If you have Andrew. And disrespect him when you speak more is the main thing, Bruce. Kind of can I feel like he's getting almost, I want to say lucky, but he's kind of getting some openings just hand delivered to him, right? Like, Pandrew misses a forward smash, misses a, dash, a down smash, corners himself trying to juggle because he overextends. And, you know, if you're candy corn, you're just like, hey, thank you, man. I like this. Can we do this more? Yeah, I think that the uh, the thing that I want to like focus on is what you said about fighting Ike where he's weak and leaving him alone where he's strong. And I think that's what Pandrew is making mistakes in. Instead of challenging Ike in the air to air where his uh, his frame data isn't the best. Sure, they're strong, but they're slow moves, right? Um, Pandrew was instead trying to challenge challenge uh, Candy Corn on the ground. That's not where you want to be challenging Ike. So he needs to focus on more abusing like Ike's disadvantage state, abusing Ike in the air to air like we said, and not challenging Ike in those areas where he's a super, super, super strong character. Yeah, for sure. And that's, uh, I don't remember anything else to add to that except 
a stage choice with a um, minimal platform would be helpful for Pantry in this regard. Like, maybe like PS2 because the platform. Eh, not PS2. Maybe like small battle though because there's no top platform to land on. It's kind of small, seeking so pressure. FD would be good against him. Town would be good against him because the platforms are really far away from like, the stage sometimes. Meaning it's not going to be good for him like, to position himself on. But um, we'll see what Pantry does. He might just go Battlefield because Rose on Battlefield is busted. Yeah, um, that definitely, like, I could see that being the pick here, especially, uh, but especially based on what we saw last game in the, the challenging game, it could be a problem going to Battlefield because Ike laddering you up those platforms when you have nothing to do to counter it. Uh, if you don't know how to counter it, could result in disaster. But we'll see what that result is here, because like DeBuzz said, we are going to be starting on Battlefield, and a strong start from Pandra, 48%. Yep, I mean, this is Rosa's best stage, this or Dreamland. Playing. Oh, it's Yoshi's sort of hanging the matchup. Ah, uh, that was a free side B right there. We went off stage, it was aggressively. When you're fighting Ike, he has to be. I think I jump up that and react, or just side B. Definitely you can't just fall for him like that. But, get the combo. Ooh, try to go for a reset. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fresh is platform. And that's what I like seeing from Pandra is like these guard smashes. These dash grabs that whiff and put him in the corner and now he's in this awful spot. All because he gave Kanar the free opening. Yeah, and I keep seeing it over and over. Free opening is kind of the way to describe what Pandra's been doing a lot. Like he keeps going into the air and kind of just throwing out like these fares or these up airs without like regard of, is this actually going to hit? I have no idea. And once he throws these moves out, Kanakurn has been fantastic about punishing them in the air. Like he'll he'll wait for that fare to come out and wait for that laggy option to begin and then immediately hop up there and smack Pandrew with an up air. And that's where he's really, really struggling. I also want to say Kanar's been really good at recognizing when Pandrew's kind of going for like these lazy aerials, right? Like, ah, oh, it's just drifting towards me with the back facing me. Huh, I wonder what the Rose is gonna do. Like, you know, he's doing a lot of things like that. Where like anyone can just react and punish that. Especially when you're like not even spacing that well. Especially with how like I think the word is telegraphed Rose's moves are, if you know what I mean. Like her her moves are very obvious which one she's going for. It's not like you can mistake like a bear for a bear in any situation. So with the amount that those moves are telegraphed ahead of time, uh Kanakern has been doing a really good job of reacting and punishing to those, especially when they're they're not uh in the correct position, not being spaced correctly. Yeah, I can definitely see that. Um I mean, with dash said, attack you know, in there. Was kind of on the last stock, almost like Kill Percent. Really has to figure something out now, or it's just gonna be curtains, to be honest. And yeah, it looks like a lot of people might be uh might be losing their points for this, their uh their their star bits because 70% of people bet on Pandrew, while only 30% bet on Kanakurn, so uh-oh. Yep, that is that's not curtains yet, but man. Man, this is very close to Curtin, that's for sure. Well, Pandrew still has yet to take Kanakurn's second stock, so this is still very, very tough. One more big hit from the Ike is going to do it. This grab could be it for the stock if he manages to get the edge guard, but he doesn't even get it there. Nope. Oh, he gets it here? That's a kill. I would go for it. Oh, no, never mind. He just let him. He just yeah, let he, him recover. He got, he got too afraid. And now he's dead. He's dead, but yeah, it's dead. Yeah, it's dead. See? Rip Telegraph in pepperonis. Giving way too many openings, as we were talking about before. And just like that, you know, candy corn moves up. 2-0.